Hi friends, it's Tilly, and today I want to show you how I took this wig and turned it into a wig fit for the god of mischief. So let's get started. The first time the wig was worn, all I did was trim the lace and try to style it back with pins. It was a bit of a mess. It was way too curly, bulky, and it didn't look natural. The hairline was also very inaccurate. Comparatively, Loki's hair in the TVA show is styled back away from his face. He has a distinct shape to his hairline. It's thin and it's sleek. So this is the variant we're going to try and recreate. For this tutorial, you will need a wig, a wig head, bias tape, sewing pins, long floral pins, got to be glued gel and hairspray, a brush, thinning shears, a steamer, and optionally spirit gum and spirit gum remover for the application. With the goal in mind and all my materials, I pinned the wig and bias tape to my wig head and got to work. I tried to not thin the topmost layer to avoid having very short strands right at the front. I started by reducing the bulk using my thinning shears. I realized my wig was very thick and needed to thin out the wig in every section to get it to the right weight. Once I reduced the wig considerably, I had the cosplayer try it on and give feedback on the thickness. He wanted it even thinner to feel more natural, so I reduced it even more. To adjust the wig's hairline, I first took a cast of his hairline using cling wrap and clear packing tape. I then traced the front of his hairline around his ears. Carefully, it was removed and placed on a wig head. I patted it out with tissue paper to get a better head shape. I then pinned the wig over the hairline, cast, and carefully planned how far I could cut the new hairline in the wig without showing his hair. I clipped carefully into the hairline with paper scissors, a little at a time, and constantly compared to the tape and cling wrap pattern underneath. From there, I used Got To Be Glued Gel to start to style it back and tame the curls. It was a sticky mess. Throughout the wig, I took a small section about an inch wide, applied some of the gel before styling it back and either pinning it or clipping it into place. I then hairsprayed and steamed it into place before letting it dry. And with that, it's time for the reveal. I used spirit gum for the application and used U pins to pin any errant strands in place for the con. Overall, I think it looks a ton better than just the base wig. I think I may end up thinning it even a bit more based on the cosplayer's feedback, but it looks so much better and far more accurate. I don't have much experience with wig styling, so let me know what you think in the comments below. And that completes my Loki TVA costume series. Check out part one and two for his tie and shirt. I may end up doing his jacket in the future, so subscribe so you don't miss out on that or my Sylvie costume. For now, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Here are my socials if you want to follow along, and I'll see you next time.